What is up everybody, Jordan here with the Deck Box, coming back to you tonight with another deck profile from the new Ultra Prism set. This is a deck um, that I've kind of put off for a little bit. Uh, I wanted to hit the, the main decks that I thought would be a lot better, um, so I kind of held this one off, but I am going to profile it now for those of you that may be interested in it, um, and uh, I'll just explain my thoughts and feelings behind it. and maybe some things I think that might make it better or worse okay uh, so obviously if you're looking at the screen the uh, the deck I'm talking about is the Leafeon GX Decidueye GX deck profile um, if you don't understand the concept of the deck basically you use Leafeon to speed through the evolutions of Decidueye and I'll explain real quickly how we do that so real quick first of all we need to be using the energy evolution Eevee I cannot stress that enough uh, that way that you can just attach a grass energy and immediately evolve into Leafeon GX your first turn. <clears throat> okay, so Leafeon has a few things about it that are really good. Uh, it's stage one, um, 200 HP uh, is kind of the downside. It'd rather be 210 like most of the other stage ones, uh, but you know, we, we work with what we have. Uh, it has the ability Breath of the Leaves. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, once during your turn before you attack, you may heal 50 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any energy attached to it. So that's actually a pretty solid ability. It's not really the focus of the deck, but it could uh, come in handy and actually save you uh, a game or two here and there. Um, then we have Solar Beam for Grass and DCE does 110, so better than Decidueye's attack that does 90 for the exact same cost. Uh, so a better option and plus attaching that Grass Energy allows you to evolve immediately. So this will be your main attacker. Um, then we have Grand Bloom GX. This is the core of the card. Uh, for each bench Pokemon, bench basic Pokemon, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it, then shuffle your deck. Uh, so basically, turn one, your goal is to get a Bridget along with an Eevee and a Grass Energy so you can evolve into Leafeon. Uh, and obviously this will be, if you go second, it'll be your first turn, but if you go first, it'll just be your second turn. You use Grand Bloom GX and you immediately evolve. Uh, so really really solid um, GX attack um, and then on turn on your next turn you will be able to have potentially four Decidueye just up and running. Uh, now typically it'll be more like two to three but still to get them that fast uh, it's it's faster and it seems to be more consistent at least on paper than uh, most other decks. Um, so that is kind of the core of it. Uh, so my one hang up with this card is you have to hit this turn one. If you don't, it's useless, it's pointless. Um, so in this deck, uh, you end up basically having no GX attack. Um, your setup gets really bad because we don't run rare candy because we count on Grand Bloom GX. So it's one of those decks where if it works, it's amazing. If it doesn't, you might as well scoop up your cards and take an early lunch uh, because it's just, you're not gonna be able to really come back from it. Uh, and I'm going to look at some other Leafeon lists as well a little bit later on for you guys. I've already got some lined up, uh, so we'll look at those later. But right now we're dealing with this one. Uh, so then next, we're dealing with a 444 Decidueye line. And I know it sounds weird. We haven't heard of a 444 Decidueye line since uh, the time of Forest. Uh, rest in peace. Um, but we have to do the 444 because that way Leafeon's GX attack has more potency. You know, if we get a Bridget and hopefully another Rowlet, we can have a full bench and then just immediately get a bunch of Dartrix and then that means the next turn we have a bunch of Decidueye uh, and we can do what we need to do. So it would be amazing if that happens. Uh, it's just the uh, issue of making sure that it happens. Then we have two Tapu Lele GX. This just allows us to search for any supporter card we need. You guys know the drill with that. Uh, then I chose to include one Evo Soda. Uh, that way we can um, quickly get to a Decidueye after we've used the Grand Bloom. We're obviously going to have occasions where we have a Decidueye in our hand or we have Ultra Ball. Just other ways to get it. So I felt like one was appropriate. Plus um, I, I included a lot of cards, to, um, or a lot more consistency cards. Uh, so the amount of Evo Soda was kind of shrunken. I would prefer to have two, maybe even three. Uh, but I don't feel like it's super necessary since you're speeding up the evolution on your own. Then we do play two Field Blower. Obviously this deck uh, is very focused on abilities. You want Decidueye uh, to be used. We don't run any of our own stadiums, so we can't get rid of other stadiums. So I feel like two is an appropriate number for this one. Uh, I've heard some grumblings about Garbodor showing back up um, for St. Louis. So 
you know may want to think about bumping your field blowers back up I know we haven't done it in a while but it may be worth the consideration now uh, then for Ultra Ball, obviously, search for your Pokemon uh, in your deck. Pretty self-explanatory, uh, so we run a high count of that. I run three Bridget in this list uh, simply because we have to make sure that we get our bench filled up on the first turn so that Grand Bloom GX has a lot more potency than it normally would. Uh, if we don't hit it, then it really, really hurts us. Uh, kind of hurts our whole setup. Uh, so that's why I chose to include three and not the standard two. Then as far as draw supporters, we run four of the new Cynthia. I didn't want to run any uh, Sycamore in this list. I know it's unpopular opinion, but I am kind of cutting Sycamore from a lot of my lists unless it runs puzzles or any sort of recovery. Um, so, uh, so anyway, so I chose to run four Cynthia uh, for draw support. Uh, and then two Hala, since we plan on using our GX attack like our first opportunity we can. Um, so this allows us to shuffle and draw seven, another reason not to include Sycamore. Um, and then three N. So in this deck, we actually have nine draw supporters, which is pretty solid, uh, doing three different things. Uh, I mean, they're all shuffle draws, but different, uh, different situations. Um, so it's really nice to have that diversity. Um, I could see including like one Sycamore, maybe cutting an N for one Sycamore, or cutting a Cynthia for a Sycamore. Um, but like I said, there's not too many cards you're going to want to dump other than maybe Bridget, and you can do that with an Ultra Ball. Um, so I wouldn't focus too much on a Sycamore in this list because we want our Decidueye pieces. Uh, then we do have three Guzma in this list. Uh, I think it's a pretty solid inclusion to have three of those. Uh, pretty much anytime you have Decidueye, you want to have a high count of that. Uh, because you're going to want to stall things in the active, take some nice knockouts, um, and leave your opponent kind of stuck uh, in the active position. Then moving on to tools, we have four choice bin just to bump up all of our attacks. Obviously 140 is much better than 110, and it helps hit better numbers with Decidueye's Feather Arrow. Uh, then Floatstone, we do include two. We don't want to get our Decidueye stuck in the active. That's not our main attacker. We want Leafeon to be up there. We don't want Lele to get stuck up there when it shouldn't be. Uh, so that's why we include two of those. And then for energy count, we have four DCE to help us to attack, and then seven grass energy to uh, try to guarantee that energy evolution on our first turn. So now what we're going to do, we're going to hop on the ladder, try to grab a couple quick games of this, uh, and uh, see if I'm wrong. Um, I, I could be totally wrong about the list, but we will see. Oh, you know what? I didn't title it correctly. I think it's new deck. Yep, that's it. A nice generic name. Okay, so looks like a um, Galissapod Zorark list. Could be Leafeon Zorark very well, but uh, I would assume it's Galissapod. Uh, and speaking of Zorark, I know that was one consideration that some people included in their list. I actually put a 1 1 line in my IRL list. Um, it just didn't do what it needed to do, if I'm being honest. So um, I chose to kind of avoid that for this one, just to kind of do a straightforward. Okay, so we got most of what we need. Um, we did miss the uh, grass energy. Let's see what we prized here. All right, we got two gizmos in our hand, which isn't great. Prized one N, one Leafeon. That's two cards. Ugh, dang, two Rowlets. It's four. That really sucks. Uh, Decidueye is five. And a DCE is six. Man, those prizes are rough. All right. Um, so we just got to be careful. We are only able to bench two Rowlet, which is going to look suspicious. I'm sure he'll figure out what's going on. Uh, we'll put this here. And I think we'll pass for now. So we're already starting to see um, the essential core of the deck kind of fall apart here, uh, which I'm not too excited about. I was actually looking forward to being wrong. I would I would love to be wrong, um, but I just we'll see. We will see. And of course the e hammer. I kind of expected that, and I shouldn't have played that. That was a bad move. All right, so we get the grass energy turn two, so that's not bad. Uh, the problem is we're only going to be able to, um, well, you know what we can do? Nah, I don't want to dump that 
Directrix, we have no way of getting it back since we're using this as a GX. And that's something else I could include um, and probably should include um, is a, let me see if there's anything else I want to grab. No, uh, it would be some sort of stretcher <clears throat> or more likely maybe like a revitalizer might work. Oh, it only lets you do one at a time. Okay. And Dark Tricks. All right, so next turn I'll be able to get one Decidueye, at least, if not two. Could have been a better setup, but we're getting somewhere. Next turn we'll be able to attack. Uh, we have to keep an eye out for E-Hammers, though. Uh, I doubt they play a four count. Uh, they probably play uh, maybe one to two. Nothing too crazy. There's that Sycamore. Ooh, and Mind Jack. Ooh, that could be prob problematic. It's just attaching grass energy. That's actually good news. Uh, actually, unless he retreats into the soon to be Galissapod. There it is. And the good news is he's going to hit us for 120. Uh, oh, 150. Oh, man. Yeah, we'll only be able to heal off 50 of that, but that's just enough to keep him from taking us out with uh, just a choice pin there. Okay, so this is good. We're not going to use that Ultra Ball. We're going to use Hala. Shuffle and grab seven. See if we can get some Decidueye here. All right, we get one. That's good news. Uh, let's get rid of both of these tools. I think that's a good plan. <clears throat> uh, so he has to hit a DCE to take us down. So we're swinging for 110, 130 with this. So we don't want to use... We'll use Feather Arrow back here on this guy. And we'll Breath of the Leaves. Hopefully he can only hit us for 30 this next turn. That would be nice because then we can heal off more. And we can take him out. Looks like he may be stuck, which would be great news for us, uh, especially considering the bad setup. Nope, he gets it. He gets it. He's going to be able to take us down using um, Armor Press. He's going to end us as well, which isn't terrible. It gives us a, a bigger hand. Um, if we get a DCE, I'm going to attach it to the Lele and use Lele to take it out. Nope, we don't get it. Um, st oh, man, I don't want to put Lele in the active because Lele could easily take him down. But I don't want any of these other cards to get taken either. I think Lele is the best option. And if I hit DCE, he's knocked out to kind of even things up <clears throat> while we continue to spread with Decidueye. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't want a Guzma because that just gives him a chance to bring him back up and swing for 120. We'll put this guy here on the Ultra Ball. I'm going to dump Bridget and Gizma. Grab myself a Deci whoop, wrong one, Decidueye. So I'm going to have two Decidueye going. And I uh, just realized something I forgot in the list was an Espeon EX. Um, which, you know what? Come to think of it, in my IRL list, I didn't include one either. Um, I think it was more because. The goal of this deck is more fast setup to take big knockouts as opposed to, uh, um, oh goodness, what am I, what am I saying? Uh, you're wanting to set up fast so you can take those big knockouts as opposed to just trying to slowly snipe around. Uh, so I, I decided to leave that out. So we'll say it was intentional for this one too. I actually forgot about it when making this video, but IRL, I did not include it. Um, oh, he takes 20 less. Oh, I should have attached the choice band to the active. Huge mistake. Huge, huge, huge mistake. Ah, oh, man. Live and learn. If he gets a choice band, we are screwed. Um, of course, I could have just hit him with a feather arrow instead of putting on the Zorark. Misplays for days. If he hits an Acerola... Uh, I mean, we did it to ourselves, and you know that's what he's trading uh, to try to get. 
and uh, I would not be surprised at all if he gets it. Alright, so he has a Glissopod. There's the Acerola. Of course there's the Acerola. Ah, oh, boy, oh boy. Alright. We deserve that. That was, that was on us. <clears throat> that was not, uh, that was not the deck's fault. That was my fault. Alright, so he's gonna hit us for 120. Which really sucks. Uh, and he has the DCE in his hand, but we have N, and uh, I say we take advantage of that. Let's see if I'm missing anything else. Um, we only had two Leafeon in the deck. The other one's prized, so I can't Ultra Ball for that. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to N. We've got to take prizes or we cannot uh, get set up from here. And even if we do, it's going to be slow rolling. This guy back here. And let's pop him for 90. So if he didn't hit the DCE, we could still survive this turn, um, which would be pretty awesome because then we can actually take the Gliss Pod down like we originally planned. We can set this guy up more, one more hit here. And uh, well, actually, no more hits because he has a choice man. But if they feel blower for some reason, uh, one more hit from a feather arrow, and Leafeon can take him out. All right, let's hope he didn't hit what he needs. Don't keep me in suspense, dude. What you gonna do? He's gonna probably have to hit me. But the problem is, all he needs is a choice band to take me down, or a DCE. He got the DCE, and instead of knocking out Lele, oh, he's got Acerola. Of course, of course he does. So he's going to take me out with Lele instead. That's what he was thinking through. All right, all right. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, holla, and go for a DCE. If I hit DCE, I can take down Lele. Swings for 80 as opposed to 60. But he can just retreat and bring out Galissapod. That's another option. And we have heal. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to keep poking at this guy. Um, and I will start hitting this guy. And we'll click done for now. He's like crazy. <clears throat> and yeah, we didn't play any way to get him back. I'm trying to remember my IRL list. I want to say I played a 1 1 line of Zorark. And I think I played puzzles because it's, it was, you know, anytime Zorark's involved. Parallel, okay, that's fine. We don't have anything right now anyway. <clears throat> It was decreased? Oh, because of parallel. Okay. Sorry, I had to think about that for a second. Uh, so Evo Soda does us no good. Da, 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 da. All right. Both Feather Arrows last turn on Glissopod would have been really good. So we have to, again, hope he doesn't get DCE. Eventually he's gonna hit it, and he's gonna take him down to take his last two prizes. Uh, here's, what, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, if you're still watching at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tweak the list after this. Actually, I'm gonna do a completely new list so that we can have both of them uh, for you guys. Um, but I'm gonna do the other list with 
Zorark and Decidueye combined and, uh, and see if it fares better. <clears throat> doesn't knock us out we could actually take two or uh, two knockouts this next turn if things pan out correctly we still have two gizma in the deck so if we hit a gizma we can feather arrow the active and then if he's not going to promote zorark so we can gizma float zone attach something and take down the zorark so take down four prizes in one turn that would be really nice that would that would save us from all the mistakes we've made <clears throat> yeah, yeah so he's thin in his deck because or he plans on using it soon It's weird to me that he plays parallel with the the stand-in Zorark with Mindjack, but I, mean, I guess I can see it against the Decidueye list. It would definitely screw with us. Okay, so he got me so we could trade it. He's still digging and digging and digging puzzles. He's going to get his DZE, and it's going to be game. Let's make sure that he's not just shuffling the top three. Oh, wait a minute. He didn't grab a DCE, he grabbed a choice band. Okay, so he's got it. Yep, there he is. All right. That was uh, bad all around. Bad playing, bad, yeah, not good. I'll go out and say that. So real quick, let's hop over to the deck manager. And let's... Uh, start from scratch it won't take me long since I remember pretty much everything about it so we're gonna grab ourselves the four Eevee grab ourselves the Leafeons and then, you know, this will be faster if I go down to just find the route here There you are. And then we'll do Zorark. And let's do a 2 2 line. Let's try that out. <clears throat> and then, as far as trainers, we still need the 3 Bridget. I feel like that's appropriate. We'll just do 3 Choice Band. We will, let's see here, do, 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 do two Evo Soda, excuse me, two Field Blower, uh, start with two Float Zone, see if we have space for it. We'll just do two Gizma, because we are going to play puzzles with this, two Hala. Do two N again. We have puzzles. It's gonna work a little differently. I just realized we forgot to grab Cynthia up top. Gotta get used to that. <coughs> uh, and we'll just make it three Cynthia. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Um, and we will. Man. No, I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm still not gonna do Espeon. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try it without Espeon. Um, and, all right, so we are gonna have to cut a couple cards, but we can do that. Like I said, we have puzzles. I still want to keep with the seven grass count. Uh, I feel like you kind of need that count to make sure you're hitting what you need. Um, <laughs> do two choice band. We'll do the one Evo Soda. Do I do one Field Blower? It's thinning, man. That's thinning. That's fine. We'll we'll give that a shot. Uh, so let me save it. Uh, and then so we'll save it. And then let me uh, show you the list on screen. You can screenshot it if it if it works out. You go right ahead and try it out, but here it is. Counts are all up there. 
So now I just change the screenshot it, and then we're gonna grab a game with this. I wanna see how this version works out. Uh, where did you go? Like I said, it's kinda tight because normally you wanna fill your bench with Decidueye, uh, but using the Zorark, it's helpful, but it's tight. So, you know, we'll, we'll just see. We'll see how it works out. Uh, well, we got Bridget, but nothing else to go with it. That's fine. <clears throat> Alright, cool. So we're gonna get our turn one Leafeon. I think they're going first. I think. Um, so we get turn one Leafeon. We could also get our Bridget turn one, which is great, especially if we're going second. We're not going second. Okay. But they had a horrible start. I'm okay with that. Um, Alright, so we're gonna grab and see what we prize. We prize one Zorax. That's one. One of these is prize is two, one of these is prize is three. Uh, one Ultra Ball is four. One N is five. Mm, I don't remember the six card. Hmm. Oh, one Eevee. So not, not a big deal. Okay, so. DCE, I feel like I'm gonna need that. I know I'm gonna need that. We'll do this. Um, oh my gosh, guys. I gotta stop this game. We didn't put in Tapu Lele's. I'm an idiot. Alright, so I already know what we're gonna cut to put in Tapu Lele's. Gosh. If you're smart and you took a screenshot, you already noticed that. Um, man, this video is just messed up all around. It's too late, too late. All right, so we're just gonna have to cut this line uh, to one one as much as I hate to do it. That's what I had in my IRL one. Um, simply because, um, I mean, you're not having to sit and wait for it. You're gonna play it down and then you're gonna use Grand Bloom. Um, so if you took a screenshot, that's the tweak. Just cut a Zerua and a Zorark and um, then add the two Lele. <clears throat> All right, let's try this again. Water, mm. water, psychic grass. Oh, is this Decidueye Glaceon? That would be cool. I like that list. I don't want to play against it because I've play tested this matchup like all Leafeon variants against Glaceon Decidueye, and it's just atrocious. It is an absolute bloodbath for Glaceon, of course. So we get Eevee, but we don't get our grass, but we do get Leafeon, so it's kind of good and bad. We do get to go first, so we can get our Bridget off. It is what I was worried about. I'm going to dump these two. I can just puzzle those back. All right, cool. So we prized one Dartrix, which is not bad. We prized one Lele, which is not bad. So it's two. We prized one Puzzle is three. Prize of Cynthia is four. Prize of Gizma and a Hala is five and six. All right. Uh, the supporter counts there. That kind of hurts thinning those up like that. But that is fine. We can make it work. Um, Bridget. And then next turn we'll be able to puzzle back the N 
we'll get that up and running and hopefully hit our grass energy off of that and we'll be in good shape. So we're going to try to get that Zorark set up along with two Decidueye and we're done. Hate using puzzles that early but it made sense it allowed us to get our setup and then continue our next turn. Uh, the only way that we get hurt is if they end us out of this but if they do it's not a huge deal because it means we got more cards so we will take that for sure <clears throat> all right so he ultra balled and grabbed a rallet as opposed to a lele for bridget which could be good for us he's wanting to use a cynthia i guess he feels like he's set up enough <laughs> All right, awesome. So no Glaceon from him. That's good news. Um, we are going to put this down. I could puzzle for an Ultra Ball. No. No. I will puzzle for N Choice Band. Because I'm going to be able to get what I need off of the Grand Bloom. The choice Band is much more needed. Floatstone is here so we don't draw into it. <clears throat> Alright. So we can brid er, dump Bridget and something else to get a Decidueye next turn. Or second Decidueye rather. Man, I could Ultra Ball now though. get three Dartrix up and running and then we'll be able to holla next turn for seven cards I like that because we don't need two leafy on all right awesome we get to use grand bloom um, and actually on the appropriate turn so that's awesome so we're gonna grab a Dartrix we're gonna grab another Dartrix thank you glad you think so Oh, we prized the Dartrix. Duh. Oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. I'll say he has a good deck, too, because I know it's a good deck. I've built it. I've played it. It's awesome. All right, cool. So we're going to get off uh, a turn three to Sigui, which is not bad, considering we did go first, so we weren't able to do that turn one. Um, so turn three to Sigui, potentially two to Sigui, or three to Sigui. And depending on what we draw off the top deck, we could trade it away with Zorark. Uh, if it's, I don't know, like if it's an Ultra Ball, trade it away for sure. Um, if it's our third Bridget, trade it away. No questions asked. Uh, please don't knock something out. Please don't knock something out. Oh, no, you're just going to stall it. Thanks. And now Glaceon, or now Decidueye can't do his thing. Thanks, bro. Evo Soda will get one of our Decidueye out. Yeah, so Decidueye and Zorark <clears throat> are rendered useless. Like I said, this is not a fun matchup. Um, what I need now is... Well, we only play one Floatstone, don't we? Ah, boy, oh boy. So we did get three Decidueye. That's the good news. Uh, we have no way of getting out of the active. We are going to need a DCE to get out of the active or to yeah DCE wow you got us or Guzma obviously Guzma would be great because uh, then we could start sniping a little bit um, and we'll be able to snipe enough to get Glaceon within range of Leafeon knocking it out the following turn which would be amazing Skyla, so they're getting a rare candy is what it looks like. Or no, Ultra Ball. So they might have rare candy in hand. That would make sense. There's nothing worse than your opponent getting to use their abilities and you not being able to use yours. Uh, it's really, really irritating. If you've played the Glaceon Decidueye list, you'll know that. Uh, which I think if you're watching this, you've probably seen that video. Um, of Or both videos of, uh, of that list. And it's just nasty. It is so brutal. Alright, what you gonna grab? So they grabbed a Lele instead. 
Okay, so Cynthia makes sense. <clears throat> Oh, that's right, they already played a supporter this turn, didn't they? Yeah, they used Skyla. So they're just prepping for the next turn. Alright, so he's gonna start sniping a bit. DCE, Gizma. No, of course not. Um, let's put this on this guy. It's Cynthia, hope for DCE. There's a DCE, awesome. So we're gonna retreat on out of here. As long as we're able to survive this next hit, we're good. If he gets a choice man though, he could use his GX attack on us. Uh, and that would, man, that'd be awful. That would be terrible. And now he won't need a choice ban because he's got his Decidueye. He just needs to snipe us once in the active and he takes down um, Leafeon. Ah, oh, man. I had hopes, I really did. Uh, and the game's still not over, I get that but uh, it certainly isn't looking too good. <laughs> All right, so he's doing his feather arrow. If he does the active, we are knocked out. Yep, and that's what he's doing. I guess I start building up uh, Zorark. Of course, if I top deck a DCE, that would be amazing. Because that would definitely get us out of this pickle we're in. Um, no, I'm going to leave that bench space open. Let's put this here. Uh, we're done. Alright, so he plays a little bit different build than what we played. He does the Aqua Patch. For Glaceon. Um, so I'm wondering if he plays any unit energy for Decidueye to be able to attack. Acerola, of course. Oh, I'm getting tired of Acerola. I don't like Acerola anymore. Ban it. That's what everyone says as soon as they don't like something. Man, this sucks because we had such a strong setup too. And like I, I was actually like really digging how it was going. All right, so we get an Eevee, but we're not gonna. All right, can you last like two turns out here? Don't Acerola. And if they do Acerola, that's actually okay because they won't be able to attack us the following turn so we kind of we got them in a good spot now um they have their other glaceon though they're still gonna shut down our abilities that's fine but like i said if they if they uh acerola they stay alive but they can't attack us so so that's the good news times it's been hit three times or no, oh no it just got hit the once and then spread on this one yeah and all right we will take that thank you so that means no acerola mm -hmm. okay. I don't know how we only have 14 cards left we haven't even been able to dig I guess we've just been playing so many of them That Decidueye scares me there. So he's gonna be able to two shot Zorark. Which that really hurts too. Dump these two. I should have dumped the Bridget. Just get the Leafeon out there so he stays alive.
Okay, we do play two. Two uh, float stones. That's good. Hold on to it for now. We're going to ride his beating for the knockout. And we get to take some prizes this video. Wow. It's amazing. I, I don't have a good deck. It sucks. You have a good deck. Trust me. Now we have Gizma, so that's good news. We can... Um, Nope, he's going to take four prizes at once. Oh my gosh. Alright. Well, here's the lesson learned. Leafeon Decidui, I'm, I'm saying it's not a good deck. Uh, I, I loved the idea of the concept when it first came out. Um, okay, let me take it. I like the idea of the concept, uh, but I never once tested it before because I didn't want to because I thought Glaceon was the better option. Um, after seeing that last match, we now know Glaceon just steamrolls Leafeon in both forms. So here is the second deck list um, for you guys. If you are considering St. Louis uh, regionals, you know, and considering taking Leafeon uh, variant, here's an option uh, if you want to be playing at the bottom tables. Uh, and you know, even the people who were talking really highly about Leafeon when it first came out, they. Uh, I'm seeing posts from them that they just think it's not a good card. Um, I will say this, I don't think it's a bad card. I think it doesn't have like the exact right list or exact right partner at this moment. I think pairing it with a stage two like Sidua is just, it doesn't really work very well. I'd rather play it with um, the Lorantis promo, which we are gonna be looking at that over the next couple of days. Just haven't gotten a chance to do that one yet. Uh, but when we do, you'll get to see how that one is better than this variant. So. You've seen two deck lists with, with Leafeon. Um, I would suggest maybe you steer clear of this one unless you can figure out the exact right build that works for you. Uh, if you do, let me know. I'd be curious to hear about it. Uh, but at least for now, I can put this to rest and know that I have done my due diligence of trying to test it and it just doesn't seem uh, to have what it needs to get things uh, working correctly. So. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, sorry the matches were a little bit of a letdown. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing two lists, though. Maybe it helps you. Maybe it doesn't. Um, as usual, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. Um, and as usual, if you are new to the channel or you've been watching for a while and just haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do that. We'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, that way you'd be able to get all the updates on all of our new videos coming out. Uh, so thank you so much once again for watching and as usual I have been Jordan with the deck box where we want to know what's in your box. Have a great day guys.